Hello everybody, it's I, the, Lu the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Sam Max Save the World. Last time, we found Brady Coulter, but he hip hypnotized Brady. us. Brady! Brady! Gah. Where's, where's that light switch? Ugh. There it is. There it is. Get out I of here. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. <gasps> what? <gasps> no! Oh, that Brady Coulter. He turns the world off with his smile. And just like that, we, uh... There we go, we're back. Oh, uh. oh no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter! That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy! Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture. I bow man. Huh, stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. We gotta save save Max. He's he is the best he he is the he is one of the best characters in Sam Max. I in don't general. suppose you have a Bosco tech device that stymies hypnosis inducing energy beams. Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something quick. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. All right, do I still have the coat? I do not have the coat hanger. But I have an idea. It is still nighttime. Interesting. Yeah, like it, you can right-click to run, but it's easier if you just left-click. Like, the, like if you just constantly left-click, you're running. So that makes sense. A lot more sense than right clicking, but yeah, let's just grab the coat hanger. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've gotta tell him as soon as possible. Anyway, time to run back to Bosco's. We are on a time crisis. Your family may be in danger. <laughs> Coat hanger, Bosco. Take a look at this. Get that away from me. Oh, hey, Bosco. We have to talk to him. You okay? Yep. Hmm. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Right. Oh, off my gun. Let's see. There has to be something else I can use. meter there's no time for that I've got to rescue Max yeah I guess that's fair maybe there's something else I'm missing from the all yeah maybe, maybe there has to be something around there that'll work that won't help me rescue Max Alrighty. maybe like a pot or something might help Try you know who would have loved that Max. Close the door. That's exactly the sort of thing Max would have looked at. Hmm. That makes me miss like Max do, for some unknown like the reason. I when, when the lights are off. Trying to and talk to Sybil. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, Sybil might help. Doc, Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. 
I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course, but you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Well, we, well that's what we, well, we got what we, what we need. We can, we can go back to Bosco's and uh, get that helmet. And then we can save Max. All right, let's go. Run it. There we go. On the diagram, let's uh, show it to Bosco. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better, it's instructions for the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. Hmm, well, let's see, a colander for that, yeah. Oh yeah, I can build this, just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna, got it. And then we can give him the coat hanger. Will a make-do antenna do as a make-do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco Tech innovation. And here it is, the most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh oh, seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Yeah, that. Yep, that. That is fair, actually. There we go. Uh, I'll put it on inside Brady Culture's home. I wouldn't want to be caught wearing last year's fashions in this neighborhood. There we go. Also, I figured out how the whole running thing works. Uh, you click, left click, and then you hold right. Then you hold uh, coming, the right Max. mouse button, and then you run. Alright, well, let's. Rule number three, always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? Well, if you really want to watch it again... What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. Oh, hey, these guys are back. We see you, and this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> okay. I'm okay, I remember sure this you part. remember the commands I taught okay. you. I'll, I'll so now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Ah. I remember this part from the long play. <laughs> okay. Become. Videotapes! Become videotapes! <laughs> Black wits, attack the dog! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Okay, I want to go through all these because these are all pretty funny. Become yourselves. Uh -oh. Oops. Attack the dog! Ah. Become me. Somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow. You crack me up, little buddy. Who's <laughs> that supposed to be? Stop this foolishness! Attack the dog! Ah. 
become pretty culture. Become pretty culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. What nonsense. Attack the dog. Ow. Yep, and you don't really get hurt in this, so you can just... Let's see. Oh, I forgot about the worship! Worship the videotapes. <laughs> Imbeciles. Attack the dog! Oh, man. I'm, I'm having Ow. way too much... I'm having way too much fun with this. Worship, uh... Worship yourselves. <laughs> Boneheads. <laughs> Attack the dog! And I think if you Ouch. if you specifically do worship Brady Culture, he will uh Worship Brady Culture. Ha <laughs> ha Alright. And then attack Brady. Attack Brady Culture. No! Attack the dog! Yep. Uh. So you can't really attack Freddy Culture because you'll attack, uh, attack, attack yourself. yourselves. Dolts! Attack the dog! <laughs> attack, uh, attack the video Attack tape. the videotapes. Foons! <laughs> <laughs> attack the dog! <laughs> Alrighty, there's a few things we haven't done. Uh, we haven't done worship me. Worship me. No, me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. And then we just have to simply outsmart him. Attack me. No, me, attack me, 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 me. Yes. Oops, no, wait, I mean. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. Smart hey, move, hey. Sam. Ooh. You played him ooh. like a $2 glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. And just like that. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. Uh-oh. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. And that's it for Culture Shock, so... So we're, we're only halfway through the episode, and we... We already finished uh, the first part, which took about, you know, this is episode 4 right now, so I guess we might as well start episode 2. Yeah. Uh, is, there, is, there, is there anything? Well I, well, I guess we have to wait through the whole credit, which is a bummer, so you know what? I'll, I'm gonna jump cut to to when we get to pick the next episode. So I'll see you guys then. So jump cut coming in three, two, one. Alrighty, here we are. So we so we finished episode one. Obviously we can continue it. Uh, time for chapter two. Uh, com situation comedy. So let's well let's just. Jump into it then. And we have to and remember and remember this this game originally released uh ep episodically. So so we so we have to see the intro again like it's a uh, you know a cart animated series or cartoon. Which is fine by me. And I think the intro changes because we dealt with Brady Culture. Maybe. I'm not sure. I know it did in the original. Like, but considering this is a remake, I highly doubt it changed. Because, yeah, this is looking the same as uh, episode one. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, nope, it's the same thing. Although, there is something in the closet. Oh, there it is. Ooh, we got the Bosco Tech, uh, tear gas. I got it! Ah! I got it! <laughs> Hello. Yes? Yes? Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You'll never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Stiller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? <laughs> Surely you just... Tom, She's I'll holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they cancelled my so-called life. Well, let's see. Well, let's check out the Hello? window. Hello? Jerk! <laughs> I, th I think that was the uh, Jimmy Two Teeth there. Uh, let's look at the television. Welcome back, America, to day three and a half of my most there's, special there's episode ever. You don't want to miss any of our exciting guests coming up this hour. Plus, everyone in the audience is going to be getting a lifetime supply of non-dairy creamer. Yeah. We don't need non-dairy creamer. We need sleep. Oh, I see. You were all thrilled when I gave you cars, then all expense paid vacations, and then home entertainment centers. But now, after I worked so hard and sacrificed so much, you'd rather sleep? It's all about you, isn't it? I guess nothing I ever do is good enough for you. Maybe. Maybe we'll start using non-dairy creamer someday. That's more like it. You see, there's lots more fun to come, so stick around, America, and sit up straight. Nobody trusts a slouch up. Ugh. Good old TV. It's the only way I still feel well adjusted. Oh, I this. Oh, I already, I already want to give that woman a uh, a walloping. Anybody home? Guess not. Yep, Jimmy Two Teeth is still outside. Close the door. Oh, the cheese is gone, but now we have Brady Culture's oh, hair. Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Yep. Unfortunately, you don't see, uh. You don't see, uh. Brady Culture uh, in the game anymore, but his hair's still there. Let's check out the water. Mr. Where? Spatula's looking good today. Isn't he plastic? Anyway, I, there isn't really much to do here that has been done in the first episode. So, let's... Let's go around... Let's go around town, uh... First. And check out what's going on. First, first, let's head into Bosco. What's oh, Samuel, Maximilian. What the? Oh, you're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst, it's me, Bosco. What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? <laughs> I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom, the third. Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be English. Look, he's British. <laughs> no, really, what made you convert to British? Everybody's got it in for me, that's why. Yeah, we heard. Well, I had to get a disguise to throw him off the trail. <laughs> They'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs. What sick forces of evil are bedeviling you this time? It's the skin bodies, man. They're after me. Skin bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. Oh, no. The skin bodies are like those horrible hairless cats, but ten times worse. Sure they're not a hundred times worse? Yeah. Maybe a hundred times. Maybe a million. Well, then. These skin bodies, 
What exactly are they doing to you? They're still in my... I mean, pinching my shaving cream. Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? So they can shave their bodies, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah, although you might be thinking, what happened to the bee pad? Not to be rude, but why isn't your fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Well, after the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I'd better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. So? So, I needed to borrow some of the high-tech detecting parts from b -tans. Meaning nothing's stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. Dash it all! I knew I forgot something. We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm. Quite so, quite so. Uh, what have you got? Well, there is still one can of shaving cream the Blooming Skin Bodies haven't gotten yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. Yeah, let's, let's what peculiar what, what device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech Innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. That, 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 that does sound pretty useful. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Uh, let's see. Uh, 30 shillings would be about... One million American dollars. A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Oh, worth every shilling. Trust me. Trust me. Let's see. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid. Spiffing. tickety boo. Just bring it to the counter. Uh, Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? Nope. Already. Do you have any fine leather jackets? Nope. I I would love to have a leather jacket. Do you have any gumballs the size of your head? Nope. Do you have any plus two plate armor of limitless squeezability? Nope. Do you have any Pez dispensers with the head of infamous Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa? Nope. <laughs> Do you have any? Ketchup? Nope. Oh, wait. Got you. Blast. Drat. Dash it all. <laughs> Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? Nope. I'm assuming it's starting to loop now. Do you have any fine leather jackets? Yeah, yeah, they're starting, nope. Yeah, they're yep, starting to loop now. Alrighty. Nothing for us right now. Uh, Indeed. Let's, let's see. Thanks, Bosco. Hip hip. Honey nut cheerio. Let's grab the shaving cream. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Horse off, pig! Dog! Pig dog! The skin bodies rule the streets! <laughs> oh, well, okay. Bumper, blinded, bombers. The little blighted did it again. After him! I mean, tally ho! Tally ho! Well, well, there's a robbery. Yeah, I mean, it's not like they're going far. We, we could probably uh, goof, ar goof around a, a tad bit. Uh, let's see what's the Adboard bag. Oh, 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 if, he, oh, if, if the rats are constantly going to be doing donuts or whatever, then, uh, or like, well, not donuts, but like, driving around the street just shooting at us, uh, then honestly, yeah, yeah, I don't think we have to worry about him so much. Civil would certainly change some stuff. What is she up to now? Sam! Max! How nice to see you! I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? What? What? It's my new career! I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. 
So you're, so you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers. Except maybe Vatican spokesperson. Are you doing any psychotherapy on the side? Only on space aliens. I guess that narrows your clientele quite a bit. No, not really. How about a quick analysis, for old time's sake? Oh, all right. Think of a number between one and four. Three and a half. Three and a half. You're selectively audio averse. I don't like the sound of that. Okay. What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, The Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Me too, and I like it. So you're looking for a cover photo of little green men canoodling, right? Yeah, though I'm kind of desperate at this point. Basically, I can use anything as long as there are three beings in the shot and at least one of them's an alien. It is the Alien Love Triangle Times, after all. Got it. There's nothing like good, hard-nosed journalism. You said it! It's time to find out the real answers to the real questions. Like what did those poor cattle do to deserve that? No! What do aliens do for romance? Do they love? Ugh. How do they get their otherworldly thrills? By playing slots in Kino? That'd explain why they're always seen in Nevada. <laughs> uh, Have you, you learned anything interesting like since you started this uh, magazine? I learned why Elvis had such an otherworldly voice. Elvis was not an alien. Sure he was. He just wore makeup to cover his emerald green skin. Frankly, Sybil, this project is disturbing, as well as distressingly intimate. Like seeing Stephen King getting a hot butter massage. Oh, you saw last week's issue. Hmm. In intriguing. Elvis as an alien. Who could have? Who could have saw that coming? Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Doctor Phil. Well, that goes without <laughs> saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That took me by surprise. Woo! Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Yes. <laughs> just yes! Yes, yes, yes! Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Yes. That's it? Oh man. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. Woo! Oh, oh, even, oh, even the, even the, even the pod is different. This appears to be some sort of reproductive device. It's a mimeograph. I use it to print my tabloid. The couch is still there. What's in the closet? Nothing. All right. Well then, I think we're gonna have to end off the episode here. After all, we did have the jump cut uh, because credits and whatnot. Yep, uh, take that, Max. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you guys, if you guys enjoy watching, please, please consider subscribing as it will help the channel grow and uh, help and tell the YouTube algorithm to recommend my chat, my channel. And videos and whatnot. I'll I'll see you guys, and I hope you guys are having a good morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we're probably gonna figure out. Uh, well, we have to figure out how to get one million smackaroos to get that uh, voice mod modulator. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>